Hello there, Internet. My name is White Dragons, and welcome back to my screen. You're going to have this screen every time, that screen right there. <clears throat> the reason why is because the software is kind of weird, so eh, just live with it. Anyways, um, so I've been thinking while I've been farming, and I've come to the conclusion that A, the top surface of the world is way too dangerous for villagers B I need to create some robots or some NPCs or something that can majorly kick ass and in the first episode that tower wasn't there and the reason why that tower wasn't there is because I had to restart the world there was a mob conflict that basically stopped me from being able to use the world. So if you were wondering, you probably weren't, but if you were wondering, that's why that wasn't there. Uh, I also noticed that there is something in the water right here. And I was just poking my nose around. See this outline? It's very interesting. Very interesting. Anyways, so what is going to be the next step? Well, the next step before we can actually even get started on playing with any of the mods is to figure out how we're going to secure our location. Basically making sure that nobody else dies from um, the uh, blood moon or from an infestation of monsters or those little bastards out there. And what I'm thinking is, one, we need to be able to fly. We need some armor. This armor is just not cutting it. Um, well, this armor is not cutting it because I've, it's broken. But, um, damn it, there was a web right there. I didn't even know. Uh, but this armor is just not cutting it anymore. So we need to figure out something. So, with that being said, I would like to introduce you to the mod called Project Superhuman. Now, Project Superhuman is a very interesting mod because it puts in the world superheroes. Superheroes from the Marvel's universe, the DC universe, and from other universes. Now, I was very fortunate enough that this young lady that obviously wants to die, come here lady, librarian, follow me. You really want to die, don't you? Come over here. You really don't want to explore over there. It's a bad place. I don't know if that's braces or if their glasses are just like really low. I don't know. But this young lady just popped up and I saved her and look what she can do. If we give her 32 paper, she'll give us one emerald. Emeralds are very hard to get in this mod pack. So I'm going to go ahead and give her and that gives us uh, one emerald, which is really cool. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it. Please move freely. You're down here because you're the only one that I can actually get emeralds from. So consider yourself lucky. And if I didn't know if those were braces or glasses, I would probably try to hook up with you. But I think those are braces. Yeah. By the way, I love the boob design. It's pretty cool. I like that. Anyways, I said move freely, right? Okay. All right, so what we need to do is we need to go to Project, oops, capitalize, Project Superhuman. These are all the outfits that you can get from the Project Superhuman. And the, one I'm mo the thing I'm mostly interested in today is the Hero Suits catalog. Now, the Hero Suits catalog can be, built, can be done by a book. I don't quite understand what I need the dirt for. <laughs> I'm confused. Uh, a book and an emerald, which to make the emerald we need, uh, we can do two blank stencils, three paper and a string, or we can do three paper and leather. Well, uh, we have the mod, um, another smelting mod, another, yeah, I think it's called another smelting mod. Still leave him, okay. And what we can do is, is we can take this rotten flesh and turn it into leather. How super cool is that? Now let me make sure I got this right. Uh, book, three leather, three paper, paper bleh, bleh, three pieces of paper, and we should be good to go. So I need another one of these. 
This is why I have so many crafting benches everywhere. I think it goes like that, yeah. So we're gonna be five heavy. And then we just take the paper, like this. Like that. No, wrong one. This. Alright, and then we get our book. And then we get our emerald. And we get a superhero catalog. Awesome. Now, if you look down towards the middle of my screen, see where it says points 1026? 1026? I'm not looking at her crotch, I'm trying to make it sure that she can see it. She has black pants on, so stop thinking that. Um, those points are accumulated by killing monsters. And you get the bags, these bags here. Blind bag, tier one, tier three, tier four, and there's a tier five somewhere. Um, when you kill monsters that have higher, like they're, they're, more, they're more advanced or much more harder to kill. So you get that. Now, what this book will do is, is if we right click on it, and we can open it up and it, we can just do an introduction. Thank you for subscribing to Superheroes Product Catalog, the world's premier super suit distributor. Within these pages, you'll find a super suit for just about anything. Using our patent and point system, you will be able to purchase individual suit pieces with a simple click. Feeling lucky? You can also purchase blind bags that will give you a random item for 30% off the individual price. And these are the blind bags. And for a thousand, you get a blind box. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but for 350, which is not bad, because uh, look, puts you like this: a tier one costs a hundred, tier two is 200, tier three is three, four, five. You know, it gets to be like that. I'm not sure about the tier, the blind box. Actually, we can look. Where is it at? It talks about blind bags and boxes. Okay. Uh, let's see. Blind bags are items that when open, right click will give you an item equal to the tier of the bag. Blind bags, like points, can be collected in a few different ways. Again, the primary method of collecting a blind bag is killing mobs. Similar rules apply to bags as points. Passive mobs can drop bags, but with a chance of only 1 to 100. Additionally, they can only drop tier 1 bags. Hostile mobs with less than 100 max health have a 1 in 20 chance of dropping one bag between tiers 1 and 3. Mobs more than 100 max health will drop a random assortment of bags. The best bag drop is available from the Ender Dragon and mobs with 1000 or more max health, where a lucky player can get up to 8 bags of each tier. Damn! Blind bags can also be purchased in this book in the intro section. Purchasing a blind bag costs 30% less than buying an individual suit piece, but of, of course there's no guarantee that you'll get what you want. Finally, blind bags are available in blind boxes. Blind boxes can be purchased just like a blind bag. When you open right click a blind box, it will, will give you 5 tier 1 bags, 3 tier 2, uh, tier 2 bags, 1 bag with a tier between 3 and 5. Three is the most common, and a point card, which is pretty cool. And if I could waste the points, I would go for the definitely go for the boxes. But let's take a look at some of the themes or costumes or heroes that we can look into. So, like Storm, for example, Storm has strength two, resistance two, flight. When falling, she is slow to prevent fall damage. Pressing F while looking at a block will strike lightning at the block. Pressing R will cause it to rain. She is considered a tier 2, so she is worth her costume is worth 200 points. So now you see how it works. Mrs. Marvel has strength 2, regeneration 2, resistance 2. Pressing F will extend her fist, giving her strength 4. Pressing R will transform her into a couch. I, available alternate costumes include street clothes. I don't She's a tier one, so yeah, I don't know about that one. Uh, Wolverine, Wolverine, Wolverine has swiftness one, strength four, jump boost two, uh, jump jump boost, yeah, jump boost two, regeneration four, resistance three, step assist. Pressing F will extend his claws, giving him strength eight. He must have a free hand to use his ability. Holding an item while will retract his claws. Available alternate costumes include tank top, X Force, 
Brown 90s, Marvel Now, and a custom skin by my brother. This is a tier 4. It is worth 400 points. So in order for me to get Wolverine, I would need 4, 8, 12, 16 points. And I do not have that. So our best bet is a tier 2, or, or no, a tier 3, 3, 6, 9, 12, which I don't even think I have that, do I? No, I don't even have that. Ooh. So I need a tier 2 or a tier 1. Or we can try the blind ba bags, which is what we're going to do today. We've got a bunch of bags here that we're going to... We're gonna try out and see what we can get. Cause it's time I got some of this stuff out of my inventory. Oh, there's another bag right there. Uh, now this will create more inventory issues for me, but we'll work on that later. So I'll actually probably wind up having to build another chest. There's one right there I could use. Uh, there's one right there, one right there. So you can see, uh, the Blood Moon, oh my god, the Blood Moon does help you out a ton when it comes down to these. But at the same time, it doesn't, it hinders the hell out of you because, oh yeah, I killed another 200. Um, because you have to deal with all the freaking mobs. Oh, they're so terrible. Alright, so, let's see, let's put, let's put all my stuff in here. That way it can... The, uh, we can have a nice, clean, open inventory. Don't ask me why I have a zombie head in my inventory. We don't ask questions like that. Alright, and, uh, it's right here. Let me get 4, 8, 12, 16. I think that should be enough. Uh, we use this one over here. Alright. I'm just gonna let those zombies and stuff kind of stay in the trap for a while. They are actually drowning themselves. There's so many that get in the get in there now that they actually drown themselves, which is pretty cool. Uh, this little fog effect you're seeing right now is it turning day or turning night. So have no fears. There's nothing wrong with your screen. It's just that's the type of imagery it does. So where the hell can I put this? It won't interfere. Uh, I guess we can put it up here for now. Alright, so, what we're going to do is we're going to have Tier 1 Bag Openings. So, here we go. Ready? Just get right on it. We'll start off with these. Now, remember, the, the tier, these blind bags can give us random stuff. And most of the time, it'll give us duplicate stuff. What we're looking for is a full set of Tier 1 stuff. So, uh, and I'll explain to you what we can do with the, um, with the duplicate stuff. After we get done. Alright, so here we go. First one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we got Blue Beetle. Oh, here we go. We got Blue Beetle's pants. Blue Beetle's headpiece. We got a duplicate. We got Mrs. Marvel's headpiece. And we got Ambush Bug. And Ambush Bug's tunic. Hmm, I think we're getting a little less. Huh, did we only get one? <gasps> Ooh, we got the. Billy Club, that's the Daredevils, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely Daredevil. So we'll leave that over here. Yeah, I guess we're getting less amount of items than we used to get. So here we go. One, two, three. Hello. I want to talk to you. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, oh, crazy! So what did we get? Oh, I put, I put on something, didn't I? Get that off me. Alright, so let's see. Get in there. Alright, so here's Harley Quinn's tunic. We got... Oh, that's the ones we were just at. There's Daredevil's pants! Daredevil's tunic. Harley Quinn's pants. Harley Quinn's feet. Fantastic. Mr. Fantastic. There's Pucks. There's Daredevil's feet. Mr. Fantastic boots. We have a duplicate pair. Duplicate pair. Mr. Fantastic's mask. Mrs. Marvel's boots. Oh, wait a minute, what's this one? And Mr. Fantastic's Pants. All right. So, essentially, well, we we need a full set. So, we're still missing a couple, and I've got a couple more to go. So, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so what did we get? We got Mr. Fantastic, a duplicate again. We got Mr. Fantastic's tunic. All right, Blue Beetles. Yeah, we got a replicant of that. Got another one of those. We got a Daredevil. 
Another one of those. Harley Quinn. We already got that one. We already got that one. We've got Ambush Bugs Pants. All right. And we got Ambush Bugs uh, Tunic. We already got. We've got a Puck's Head piece. Sweet. Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. Mrs. Marvel's Tunic. Uh, Blue Beetles. Blue Beetles. Uh, Blue Beetles Feetsies. Awesome. And another Billy Club, which I'm going to hold on to that. Uh, those are actually kind of rare. So, all right. So, with that being said, these are all duplicates. We don't. We have a full set of Mr. Fantastic, but I've put on Mr. Fantastic's ability, uh, Mr. Fantastic's stuff, and it's not that good. Um, actually, I'll go ahead and read it to you. Okay. So, Mr. Fantastic. Mr. Fantastic. Did I just miss him? Spider-Man. I think I missed him. Mr. Fantastic. Mr. Fantastic has strength 2 and resistance 2. Pressing F will extend his hands, giving him 4. Strength and 4. Which is good, but I'm not really wanting that. What I need is a character who can fly. Actually, I need to pull that back out. And I'm going to need another chest, obviously, because we're filling up that chest left and right. So we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 8, 12, 16. Yeah, so we need 4. Uh, and we won't be using these chests in the near future. We'll be using uh, another type of chest. But for now, we need these chests to hold our stuff. And also, these, this particular chest, the, my, the vanilla chest, is the only chest that, um, that allows uh, access to, say, like the crafting bench here. Because this chest is actually connected to this crafting bench. So that's pretty cool. So what are we supposed to do with all our extra stuff? Like the um, like the extra duplicate stuff. Well, if we go back to the beginning, not that beginning, we go to the introduction, there's this item called cost, uh, called a point converter. So the point converter basically is, is we're going to be able to throw our duplicate items into the point converter and get points back. But it costs you 250, which is well worth it in my opinion by the way if you ever need to get out of this because there's no actual exit button just hit escape it's easy so we're gonna point the, we're gonna put the point converter right here now remember there's a slab underneath but that's fine and then all we gotta do is just hit Q and hear that sound listen to the sound okay I don't know if, I, if my music drowns that out but that is the sound of us converting points oops I don't want to put it on uh, so let's just go ahead and drop all this stuff down really quick and there's also an update sooner or later that's gonna come out where it's gonna have more more heroes hopefully so we're just gonna hit Q oh, Q Q Q Q Q Q Q alright do I have any more yes I do dump all this stuff oh uh, you do get more points or the bag versus the actual item but uh you know this is our first time opening this stuff so once we have a full like tier one set there's really no need to have tier one bags in your inventory so you just throw them in there and get more points so we got back a few of our points but not a lot all right so this is going to be our tier two chest we got a bunch of these uh these are very hard to come by number and and tier five bags are just almost impossible, which I could have sworn I had more. I sworn I had a tier five. Maybe I didn't. I'm just super excited to get this over with, because as you can see, these bags take up a bunch of your inventory space, and uh, we don't have a lot of inventory space to work with right now. So, all right. So here is our tier two. Ready, set, go. Ah. All right, so let's see what we got. We got... Wait a minute, is that Invisible Woman? Invisible Woman's a Tier 2? And Mr. Fantastic is a Tier 1. <laughs> Leonardo is in this. The Ninja Turtles are in this one. Raphael's Pants. That's pretty cool. Catwoman. Okay. Joker. He's in this one. And we have Nightcrawler, which is in this one. We have Invisible Woman. Oh, that's not where it goes. It goes right there. And we have Raphael's pants yet again. So we have a, we have two duplicate uh, swords. Uh, their weapons are not that strong, but if because of their their um, 
their stats that makes them pretty strong, even with a re even with their regular plus one weapon. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 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 nine. I just put something on, didn't I? All right. So what did we get? We got the Joker's face. We got Donatello's m face. Sweet. We got Nightcrawler's pants. Storm's pants. Awesome. We got Invisible Woman yet again. Another Invisible Woman duplicate. We got Shadow Cat. Shadow Cat. Squirrel Girl. Uh oh. So we may have to wind up doing it mm, something like this, maybe? No. No. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it like this for now. Uh, Cat Woman's boots, which is a duplicate. Squirrel Girl's tunic. I have no idea who Squirrel Girl is. Michelangelo's Donatello. Woo -woo. I love Donatello. I loved all the Ninja Turtles, actually. We got Raphael's pants. Okay, these are all the duplicates, right? This is Donatello's pants. Hey! Nightcrawler's boots. And Invisible Woman's pants yet again. Oh, man. Okay. So here we go. Uh, 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 Oh, okay. So we got Storm's headpiece. We got Shadow Cat's pants. We got Michelangelo. Uh-oh. The hotel's boots. Raphael's pants. I think that's another duplicate. Oh, Raphael's sigh. How sweet. Sweet. Squirrel's girl's feet. Shadow Cat's boots. Donatello, Raphael, okay. Do I, do, oh, we got a full set of Donatello. What? Got Leonardo over here. Storm's boots, okay. Squirrel Girl pants, duplicate. Raphael's pants are a duplicate. Raphael's pants, Leonardo's pants. Okay, Donatello's boots are duplicates. Leonardo's pants are duplicates. Donatello's boots, okay, making sure we do not have any extras, which I don't think we do. So for now, I'm just going to stick the Ninja Turtles suits up here. Alright. So, again, this is this was what this is episode was going to be about. Was just un-getting all these bags out of the inventory. Um, now there was a... There was like a control... Or, it was all... It was something that you could do to move your move this down into your thing, and I can't remember what it is because shift just clicks it. Control no, alt no. I don't know what it was. Tap no. I'll remember one day. I'll remember one day. All right, so we're just gonna dump these. I'm so happy he put the Ninja Turtles in. Alright, then we got... I want to wear boots. I want to throw them away. Oh, Invisible One's face, too. I like... I, you know, I don't... I don't mind the... The, um... The artwork. Because the art. Oh, my God. It's, they're just up there, just... I gotta fix this. That noise. Oh, did they stop? Okay, they... Nope, they didn't. Okay. They get stuck sometimes, like the guards. Like there's like three ways a guard could go out, and they all seem to want to go the same damn way. See, like this. This is what pisses me off about them. All right, go. What the hell? Oh, okay. Woo! Scared me. All right, let's get back downstairs, do some more unboxing or unbagging or whatever you want to call it. CS go, eat your heart out. Uh, let's see. So we've got a ton of stuff there. We don't have anything that's really. I mean, Mr. Fantastic is not a great suit to wear. Um, so we do have some tier threes. And we do have some tier fours left over, which means we're gonna need another, make another chest. One, two, three, four. Let's just go ahead and make. Just go ahead and make just two more chests, just to be on the safe side. I know, I, I know, I need like five of these, but I'm trying my best not to waste a lot of wood here, because um, as you can see, uh, 
we've, I've been busy doing far more important things than freaking um, the damn what you call it uh, mining. Yeah, that thing. You know what I'm talking about. Back. I have a tendency to break pickaxes constantly. Alright, so that's our tier 2. This is our tier 1. And now it's time for our lovely tier 3 bag. So here we go. Alright. So we're going to tier 3. Wait a minute, hold on. This is 1, 2, 3. Okay. So we got Colossus Tunic. Awesome. We got Colossus Pants. Very cool. We got the Flash, Wally West, his tunic, awesome. Gold Star's boots, ooh. We got the Flash's boots. Now the Flash's boots. I wonder if this is the uh, this is a different Flash. It might be a different Flash. We got a repeat. We got Gold Star's head. We got Professor Zoom, and Booster Gold. All right, well. Not a lot there, but hey, it was probably just worth it just going into it. So here we go. Last one. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh, look at the stuff we got. All right. So we've got John Stewart's tunic. Awesome. We've got Guy Garden's boots. Spider Gwen. Ooh, Spider Gwen. Ooh, Spider Gwen's tunic. Awesome. And X-23's mask. How cool is that? Okay. So we got to read. Let me do this real quick excuse me excuse me can you get down from there i'm i'm trying to do something here what the hell is this on me what was that what is this what is it what the what is that can i actually see that what the hell okay this is okay what I don't know what that is. Um, we take it off. That's pretty weird. And this was Booster Golds. I believe this is Booster Gold. Yes. Okay. That's Booster Gold. All right. So now that she's moved. Uh. All right. So that's all our bags. Now we've got Tier Two, Tier One. We've got Colossus. We've got the Flash. And in our tier four, we've got the Green Lantern, X-23 mask. I need someone who can fly. And the Green Lantern can fly. Um, but let's take a look at Jon Stewart. I think that's how it, I, I may say the name wrong. Um, Jon Stewart. So Green Lantern Jon Stewart has Swiftness 1, Strength 8, Resistance 3, Fire Resistance, Flight if wearing a Green Lantern ring, and the first bevels ring slot. Also, with the ring in an empty hand, pressing F will construct a rifle, pressing R will construct a hammer, and pressing G will construct a mace. He flies faster than normal. Sneaking and pressing R will store the suit in the ring. Ooh. So, 4, 8, 12. Ooh, we don't have enough for that. I mean, that would have been awesome if we could get a hold of it, but we... We don't have enough. Um, Colossus can't fly. Gold Star, I th think, is... Uh, Gold Star, Swiftness 1, Strength 6, Jump Boost 2, Resistance 3, f and Flight. Okay. Pressing F will fire her Force Bolt, which causes damage and knockback. Pressing G will toggle her Force Field, which will push back nearby entities and give her Fire Resistance. What tier is she? So we need three, six, nine. So how much do we need? Because she has flight. I mean, I'll dress up like a girl. Three, six. Ooh, we could do that. Let's do that. Gold star. So all we need is a tunic and the pants. And all you do is just right click or left click on them. And if you take a look, 
our coins are now down to 596. So we can just go ahead and grab her outfit. Let's put her on. Drop the helm. Boom. Okay, so what do we get? We get speed, strength, jump boost, flight, and resistance 3. Damn. Unfortunately, our eyebrows stick out. So <laughs> it's something that's going to happen in all our in all the suits. So just expect that. There's nothing I can do about that, and I'm not changing my skin. Um, this is the bevels, be, bevel, bevels, by the way. You just click here, and it, you can change it. And this is where they were talking about putting the items in the slot. So, okay, so we have 596. Um, can we drop a... Storm sounds really good. It's, it's, oof. Let's see. We got. We could do. We can do. Uh, Nightcrawler, Storm, or Shadow Cat. So let's find out which one would suit us better. Um, we know about Storm already. So let's find Shadow Cat. Shadow Cat. Shadowcat has swiftness 1, strength 2, resistance 2. Pressing F will toggle her intangibility. Sneaking while intangible will move her through the ground if there's something for her to go. Pressing R will toggle her ability to run on air. Ooh. That's nice. Okay. Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler has swiftness 1, strength 4, jump boost 2, and resistance 2. Pressing F while looking at a block within 64 blocks with at least one block of airspace above it will teleport him to the block he can climb walls pressing against a wall and sneaking will allow him to stick to the wall available alternate costumes include modern and x-force Ooh, that's pretty cool uh, let me look real quick at at uh spider gwen spider gwen has swiftness three strength eight jump boost resistance two Step assist and might pressing F while the web sh while a web shooter equipped in the first Bibble's ring slot will fire web. She can climb walls, pressing against the wall and sneaking while allow her to stick to nearby walls. Nearby hostile entities will trigger her spider sense. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, ooh, X twenty three. X twenty three has swiftness one, strength four, jump two, regeneration four, resistance three, and step assist. She is immune to poison and wither. Awesome. Pressing F will extend her claws, giving her strength 8. She must have a free hand to use her this ability. Holding any items will retract her claws. Hmm, okay. I am a big comic book fan. I love the Marvel Universe, the DC Universe, the Dark Horse. I love them all. Um, so, oh. We could, I don't think we can do Gwen. Ooh, Shadow Cat sounds good. Because, like, we can go through things. And she can fly. I'm going to get Shadow Cat. Um, well, actually, we may have enough points to do... Sh let's see. They're tier 2, right? So, 2, 4, 6. How many points do we have? Oh, we only got, like, 596. We might be able to get some points here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Where's my stuff? We might be able to get some points here. I'm just going to keep this just in case. We'll put that back over there. So let's see how much damage. Because most of these guys are at 1. Well, some of them are at 1. How much damage? Oh, man, you're not doing shit. Wow. Get off me. How much... Oh, wow. I mean, he's literally... He didn't do any damage. I can actually punch them and get do more damage. Actually, I may not be able to reach them. Ooh, I can't reach them without a weapon. Ooh. That's something that's got to get fixed. Let's get some more points here real quick. Get off me. Ooh, there's a sword. Stone sword. So we'll break it and get out of our inventory. Ooh, we're withered. Oh, that didn't do nothing. Wow, the regen on this thing is awesome. 
many points have we got? Ooh, 620, not bad. Sticky, choky, gravity, sticky. So did we get any... We haven't gotten any bags. Oh, there we go, we got a bag. I'm gonna be careful of my hearts. God, where is this guy at that's withering me? I must have killed him already. Sorry. Let's see if I pissed her off. You know you're not that cool. Fuck you! I'm, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that. You know, all the shit that I do... Get out of here. All the shit I do for you guys... I'm dressing up like a woman, for God's sake. Just to protect you. It's the way I get treated. Where is this guy at? Oh, poison. Okay, here he is. Rare poisonous special zombie vampire. Wow. A big word. Did you drop a bag? No. Somebody dropped something. Come on. Wow, there must have been a ton of them up there. They backlogged like that. Alright, anything else? Alright, so. We got another tier one. I'm gonna pop this one open. Ooh, look at all this iron armor we got. I'm gonna pop this one open real quick. What is this? <gasps> Storm's tuning. Do I have Storm's tuning? I don't. I don't have to spin anymore. Ah, oh, we got Storm's tuning. How awesome. So all we have to do is buy Nightcrawler and Shadow Cat. Okay. So Nightcrawler, we need, what do we need? Because, oh. Oh, so excited! We got some full sets. Uh, we need Nightcrawler's tunic and Shadow Cat's headpiece. Sorry, so we'll do Nightcrawler's tunic, and then we need Shadow Cat's Shadow Cat. Where'd you go? Am I am I missing her? Spider, 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 Squirrel Girl. Okay, I missed her. Shadow Cat, there she is. Duh, it's alphabetical order. Uh, headpiece. Alright. So now, I don't know why I keep going in that chest. We've got. We've got Nightcrawler! And we've got Shadow Cat! Awesome! Awesome, 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 possum! And we don't need Nightcrawler's sword, obviously, because we, we've got two of them. Actually, I do want to check something. So hold off and we'll end the episode here very shortly. So this is Nightcrawler's weapon. It does one attack. So, and we got 240 points. So, now, if I were to throw this, we got 20 more points. Okay. I was really hoping for some more, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and dump all this stuff in there. Um, what is this? Potion of Hunger. Oh, Ooh, we got a carrot! Sweet! We need the carrot badly for our, for our farming area. Uh, so why am I trying to get rid of it? I don't know. Um, trying to get, dump all this stuff out of my inventory. Alright, so we're going to test things out here very shortly. Uh, we'll put this in there for now. Alright. Let's test this out. I don't want to eat it. I don't want to eat it. That's why I'm keeping it out of my hot bar as much as possible. Oh, you got a baby! Yay! I'm happy for you. Good for you, girl. You deserve you deserve a baby. Alright, we'll put that there. I hope you guys have a good... Who are you married to, by the way? You're married to Red. Who the fuck is Red? Never even heard of Red. Alright, so we're supposed to. We can fly. Woohoo! We can fly. And we hit F. <gasps> Look at that. It's a force bolt. Awesome. That is so cool. Let's see how much damage we can do to one of these assholes over here. Eh. 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 Oh my gosh. Eh, eh. Four. Four's not bad. Eh, eh, eh. It's 
off a little bit. That's fine. Ooh, now we have a ranged weapon. Awesome. Now, I'm wondering... Oh, stay right there. Don't move. I'm wondering if we go into... Hmm, we go into Players 98. I wonder why we can't hear... Why we can't hear the... The sound. Maybe they don't have a sound? That would be kind of cool if they did. Wow, the knockback on this is amazing! Look at this. Look how far they get knocked back, man. That's awesome! I love the design, though. <laughs> That's so cool. That is so cool. Okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna be wrapping this up very soon. I promise. I promise. But I want to try Shadow Cat. Shadow Cat looks like she's gonna be one of those suits that I'm probably gonna fall in love with. Just because I think in, if intangibility is what I think it is, it's gonna be freaking awesome. You okay? You guys look like you're in a vortex or something there. gonna be epic put that back okay so let's see let's take her off let's grab a shadow cat and I'll probably wear a storm too so we've got speed strength and resistance okay so here's the deal I know that for example for any better reason that if I walk through this wall, I should fall in the water. So if I hit F. Oh my goodness. Awesome. Ow. Okay, she does not have regeneration, that's for sure. Which is fine. Can I walk through glass? This will be interesting. Oh, here's a blood moon. <gasps> I can walk through glass! How freaking cool is that? Oh, that is so cool. Okay, hit F again. Okay, that's solid. That makes me solid. And if I hit G, oh, oh, I get it. It's so that, what did I get? I... Oh, I got strength two. Doesn't she have strength one? Does she have strength one or strength two? Strength two, okay. So, uh, he, that, that is actually supposed to give me a strength boost, I believe. Uh, the favorite from the gods or whatever it is. So, that is super cool. Now, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to make myself a bag. Uh, a backpack. Let me show you real quick. I know, I know. I'm supposed to end this. Back. Pack, right? Okay. So, I'm going to make a backpack. And it's going to be probably the regular one. This brown one right here. And you just need gold, a gold pressure plate. And then leather. And very cool thing about this bag this one is is that um, if I had an eye of ender I can make a backpack restore allows you to restore a lost backpack so if I ever lose this backpack I can always make a restored version of it which is pretty cool and yeah man that's so awesome there's this one thing too which is gonna be pretty cool too a quantum chest because like whatever I put in the bag, I, I believe can be attached to a chest and it'll go directly to that chest, which is super cool. I don't understand the crane backpack, but though, but you know, whatever. I'm happy. And it's another blood moon, which is even better. So, where is it at? Oh, I screenshotted. There we go. Woo! Look at me. I'm so pretty. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Likes and comments are greatly appreciated. Hope you like the introduction video that I'm doing now and is first and then instead of later. But as always, guys, thanks for so much for watching. We do this for fun, not for profit. And as always, I'll catch you on the other side. Bye-bye.